Good morning guys, today I am back with an another video. It is one of my favorite projects on Sunday and this is specially created for do-it-yourself people like me. So today I will go for a new product that is Turtle Wax Hybrid Solutions Pro Graphene Infused Flex Wax. This particular product claims to give a very good shine and a superior protection than ceramic spray and it claims to give a long lasting solution. So I will show you how to use this product and not only that those who have done ceramic coating or those who have done already waxing they can also use this product as a top coat. So, so you can as use this product as a top coat for an extension of your particular product. But I will show you for those who have just purchased a new car or those who want to do a protection layer for their car. So I will show them as a foundation layer or a base coat with this particular product. This particular product has three types of application, one that I will be showing you as a base coat or a foundation coat. It can be used as a rinse method that means on a wet car I have already shown you videos how to apply a wet wax. So you can use it as a wet wax and also you can use it as a rinse off method. You apply to the on a wet car and rinse up with the help of a pressure washer. But for those two process you need a pressure washer. So I will not go for those particular process. I will show you the step one that is the foundation coat. So for this I have procured some microfiber cloths, a microfiber application pad, a waterless car wash because before I apply this product the car should be at absolutely dust free and mind that if your car is uh, having some scratches or light soil mark you to go for a paint correction but in this case it is not necessary. So let us start the project. I will dust off with the help of a Jopasu duster because absolute dust free condition is necessary. So I will first wipe all the dust with the help of a Jopasu duster. I will always suggest you to invest in a good quality duster and you see all the dust layer is gone. So let us complete the dusting process. Then I will go for a waterless car wash. Now the first step will be to clean the body surface. For this I will be using a waterless car wash. So it why I am using this waterless car wash. Now I will wipe up the dirt. Why I am using this particular procedure because lot of my viewers do not have access to running water. Not only that those who are staying in apartments they are not allowed to wash their car with running water. So the best practice is to use a waterless car wash and clean the car surface. It will not only clean all your dirt but it will give a very good desired result before applying this particular wax. Like this I will clean the entire car body then I will start the procedure. So now the car is ready for uh, that particular application. You can see no dirt or no debris is remaining on the surface of the car, absolutely smooth and clean. So now we are ready to apply that particular flex wax. This is the normal gloss that we, this is the normal gloss that we see in my car. This car has been uh, ceramic coated two years back. So I need a fresh protection also and the car has just returned from service. Now I will differentiate 
how effective the product is by dividing this particular bonnet in two parts. So, it will be easier for us to distinguish how the product works. I will prepare this area and keep this area as it is and finally, I will cover the entire area after showing you the result. It is written hybrid solution pro graphene infused flex wax. It claims to give a extreme shine and a superior hydrophobic properties. So, I will use this as a base coat and step 1. I will keep a moist cloth. A moist cloth handy. So, while I will apply, I will spread this particular product with the help of a moist cloth. This is my procedure. In, in your instruction, you will find that they have asked you to spray per panel, but I am not going to follow that particular method. What I will do? I will give the sprays in my applicator pad. This is a new applicator pad which I have procured for this particular purpose. I will give you the links if you are interested and I will have two microfiber cloths for this particular purpose. I have given two sprays. Now, I will spread it in, in this way. Do not over spray it, otherwise it will lead to streaks. Now, I will apply a damp cloth. Now, I need to buff it off with the help of a dry cloth. Let me use another cloth. You do not need too much pressure. A gentle pressure is more than sufficient to do this job. So, this area has been finished. Now, let me show you the difference. This part is without this particular flex wax and this part is with the flex wax. You can easily see that the shadow of my house is reflecting just like a mirror. If I come to this part, you see it is bit hazy. So, you can easily understand how superior gloss you can get with this particular wax. So, let us cover the entire bonnet and finally, I will do to the entire car and show you the result. Just two sprays. Why I am using this damp cloth? What will happen? It will help you to stop any streaks or any over spray that happens and it will take care. to minimize the streaks or anything that will happen while applying this particular wax. If you notice any streaks, be sure to use this damp cloth.
so the entire bonnet has been completed you can see that insane gloss you are getting not only that how butter smooth this particular panel has become so like this i will do to the entire car and finally i will show you the result So let's follow this for the entire car. You can see the fender panel also how bright it has become compared to this panel. Finally the entire job has been completed and you can see the shine not only shine it gives an added slickness to your car when you do this particular graphene flex wax you get a additional slickness that you don't get in ceramic coating and you can easily see how shiny the car has become in fact it is giving much more shine than what you get in ceramic coating and the application is very easy you can do it the process i showed you today so anybody can do it and it claims that it has got a very good uh, hydrophobic properties that i can show you at this moment because i have just applied this so at least after 24 hours you can apply any water or anything like that and one advantage of this particular product is you there is no curing time so after polishing you can drive off which you can't do in ceramic coating where a curing time of 24 hours and there is a second coat option to complete that process in this particular graphene you don't need that and another suggestion and tip use as less water as possible to your car if you want to keep your car shiny as good as new i am always in the opinion you use as less water as possible so i hope you have liked this procedure and if you find the video useful please do comment and in my comment section below and if you have any questions regarding this procedure i am always ready to answer all your queries Thank you very much for watching this video please do subscribe goodbye